Good morning, good morning to you. What's up, y'all? Like, I just got out the tub. Well, I sat in the tub. I woke up, went straight to the tub. Um, and I really just sat in there and, like, meditated. And um, I really just was in silence, like, chilling. And I'm going to do that more often because I really enjoyed that. Um, and then I took a shower because I just take a bath to soak. You should not just get in the tub and then get out and then be done. You need to bathe. Um, actually wash your body. See? But, y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all about last night because I had a time. I had a time. Um, I had a time. I had a time. I had a time. So, I am getting ready for brunch with my friends. Uh, we're supposed to be going to Heist today at 1230. 1231-ish. It's 11.50. But, y'all, so, last night, I'm in this group. I'm the communications leader of this um, nonprofit entrepreneurship group. I told y'all about this, I believe. And they invited me out to this mixer. And it was like Afrobeats mixer. Oh, my God, I had a time. I love the way the Africans be getting down. Like, the Africans. They gonna teach y'all to really party. Like, don't play with them. Don't play with the Africans. They gonna teach you how to party. Y'all, I figured out. I want to get like something right here in the corner. I can't show y'all right now. But, um, so my setup is a lot better. So I'm going to put something right there. I just don't know what yet. But yeah, so back to last night. I had a time. So they just like, it's just a mixer. Like the DJ is doing his thing. Shout out to DJ, I think Sunny or something like that. He's a DJ in Charlotte. Um,. He was doing his thing, okay? I didn't know half these songs, but I know I love Afrobeats. Like, Afrobeats just make you want to, like, mm, 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 mm. like, move, groove, and just, like, and it's just a vibe. It's a time every time. It's a time every time. Um, the only song I knew was um, Money on My Mind, Money, Money, Money. That's not jam. That's not jam. That's not jam. Um... But yeah, y'all, I'm so happy. I met some guys. I met like two guys. They were so sweet and handsome. <laughs> tall, dark, and chocolate. And what is it? Tall, dark, and handsome. Ah! <laughs> I feel a good day, as I can see. Um, and they both just texted me. Good morning, Queen. We love that. Um but yeah y'all i had a time like i said y'all hear me keep saying that but i just want to tell y'all hold on i gotta get my scooper um what else i wanted to tell y'all yeah so i'm there they got the bubbles in the sky like actually i'm gonna insert some clips how about that because i want y'all to see it for yourself so here's the clips <laughs> Um, as you can see, I had a time. I had a time, I had a time. And they had a time. They was just dancing. And I heard the food was really good. I didn't get no food because I had already ate before I went. I heard the food was really good. 
And mind you, so one of the dudes that I met, I went to college with crazy. And we actually like, we never really talked, but we had a moment where like, we just met up. I met up in his room or whatever, like his dorm. And we just kicked it and we were just talking like, that's it. And we had a good time just like conversing. And I literally, we never hung out again after that. It was just like a one and done type of just situation. Like literally, it was just weird. Like we just hit each other up. He was like, what you want? I'm like, nothing. I pull up. We just chop it up. I go home and I think I didn't text him back. That's what he said last night. Um, <laughs> he was all, he was fine, but he's a cap of y'all and the nukes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The noops. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot. The noops. I cannot. <laughs> the noops. The noops for me. But yeah, y'all. Okay. Anyway, more stories. I had a time in my girls. They had a time too, honey. We we just had a time. That's all I can say is that we just had a time. And then we ended up going to Eden right after, but we was not there long because the vibe was so different. Like, the vibe was so different. Like, you go to Afrobeats type of vibe and then to go to Eden. As soon as we walked in the door, they got Dirty Sour, what is it? Dirty Sprite and the Sour Foam. I don't even know the words, but I'm, everybody know that song, March Madness. By future, like dirty sprite in the fire, uh, the dirty sprite in the star. <laughs> cut it out, cut it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all! I had a time. That's all I'm gonna say is I had a time and I will. I just followed all this guy's page, like all of his DJ pages. Well, he only got two, but I followed his DJ page and you know what? I will be at the next event, so y'all pop out to the next event too because. That's my type of time. Like, I don't always want to be on no club, like, ghetto. Like, I hate to say ghetto, but it is what it is. Like, some ratchet, like, I just want to chill and, like, feel like I'm on an island somewhere, you know? So, yes. That was last night. Um, and, y'all, my glutes are hurting. And I love that for me because that means the glutes are growing. When they hurt, I mean, they're growing. And you're only supposed to work on your glutes, I think, two to three times a week if you're, like, if that's, like, your main goal. But, your girl, four to five. We trying to get this booty fat. Pure out, pure ooh, okay? Um, I do work on everything else, of course, but I decided Sundays and Wednesdays are my glute rest days. I'm not going to do no glutes. And I think the thing is, like, glutes have a whole bunch of different muscles in there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just working on one muscle of the glute when I work on my glutes. So, I think I can do four to five days. You know what I'm saying? I think it works out good. And I saw a girl on TikTok talk about how you have to train your glutes before starting to pick up the weights. And that is so true. Because before I was doing glute workouts, like, I mean, the same workouts that all, like, people talk about, like, hip thrusts, um, RDLs. I was doing that, but I wasn't feeling it. Like, I know you don't always have to feel sore, but if I never work on my glutes and I'm supposed to be working on my glutes today, I need to feel something tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? I was not feeling anything, and so I listened. I took her advice, and I started doing weightless exercises. So I did donkey kicks. I did, um, you know, weightless squats. Just really training my glutes because you have to train them, like, and I didn't know that was a thing until I realized it's a thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope that I'm making sense. Um, I'm not a gym girly like that. I, I am a gym girly that like I go to the gym, but I'm not like educated in it like I should be. But I'm getting there. So, yeah, I don't really know all the terminology. I just know that she was right because once I started doing like my little donkey kicks, um, my little, what's those things called where you like, on, you're in like doggy position, but like side leg raises or whatever. I started doing them and then I was like, okay, I felt a little bit and burn in my glutes. And then I started picking up the weights. I ain't gonna show y'all the glutes yet because it's just a little plump. It's like the plump where you know, only you know because you know your body. So it's like, oh, like the plump is plumping. Like, okay, I see the progress. Or is that the Lulu? Is that delusion? Because I swear, I go to gym one day and I feel like <laughs> the glutes are plumping. But it's honestly been like a week. Well, it's been more than a week because I didn't start New Year's. I just started like going every day New Year's because I dedicated to a mile, um, a mile a day. So, and that is a good thing. Like, y'all should try that. Um, you don't have to run a mile a day, but walk a mile or run a mile or jog. But it motivates me, well not motivates me, but it puts me in a position to actually work out because I do not just run outside all the time, especially because it's cold, so I'm going to go to the gym and get on the treadmill, do my mile, and I'm already at the gym, so I'm like, I might as well do a little one-two workout, you feel me? But also, I do have a workout plan too, so do not go into the gym just without a plan, you need to actually do some research, um, I use chat, chat GBT to create my workout plan, and I just do that, girl, I do that, I do that, you feel me? 
Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good energy today. I mean, I'm normally like this. But today, and I really felt like I was going to sleep a lot this weekend. But that's another thing. Like, ever since I've been, like, doing my mile a day and actually going to the gym every single day, like, every single day, weekends included, I legit do not be tired like I used to be. And that is real. Like, I do not be tired. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I got to show you my underarms. They're not bad, but I just realized, like, I'm on camera with the other arm. Little fuzz with the little fuzz. It's all good. Because it's just the life of a human, right? But yeah, I just wanted to chat it up with y'all this morning. We're working on a new angle. Don't, don't bite my ear up. Um, braids are still pretty decent looking. We're going to take them out sometime this week. And yeah, I'm about to finish getting ready for brunch and I'll see y'all in the next clip. Bye. Y'all, one thing about it, I'm going to put that athletic wear on every time, okay? Because... I do go to the gym every day anyway, but just for the everyday fit, like, first of all, let's glit. When I told y'all the glutes was gluten, y'all ain't want to believe me, but down. I feel like I should just show y'all because, yeah. If you know, you know, because your girl was a little, I wasn't skinny, but you know, I wasn't eating like I needed to. But the gains is up and they stuck. Pure, I pure, ugh. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go to brunch. We're going back to Heist. That's like the brunch spot, it seems like. But I don't think I'm going to vlog this one. Y'all already seen how our brunch go. We have a time every time. But I'm going to get back with y'all. I just wanted to show y'all the little gym fit for today. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Let's see. What's up? Mm -hmm. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. I know. Like, on her. Like, the sun is beaming. Hi, here, up here. Ugh. These hoes vaping in my car. <laughs> and it's okay. You, it's okay because you're going to feel a nicotine in a minute. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't do that. What's your next video going to be about? I do weekly vlogs. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is a vlog. Like a mashup? Yeah. So what is this vlog about? Let's let's actually talk about a topic real quick. Yeah, let's talk about some stuff. What is, what, what is the topic? What's the topic about? Y'all talk about niggas in 2024? No. Yeah. Our, no, not niggas. We left, we left them niggas. Not the let's niggas. Let's talk about our goals and what we got planned. Fuck these niggas. All right, what y'all? Like the sun that. is sunny. Like let's like keep that. the energy positive. Hold on, I'm about to, I'm about to pull like off somewhere so we can get better light. Let's just go to the sun. Yeah. No, let's just go back. Y'all want to go to Brandon House? Sure, but I gotta, I gotta drive. You gotta drive? Where your car at? Over there. This this is the last it's so cute in here. So you got to I gotta go to give them a little tour. Hey, y'all. They just want me to say It's like everyone wants you to think how to think And do what they say Because, all right, y'all. I'm a little bundled up, ain't I? It got hot real quick. It did, but look, ain't no wicked in the mix, so it can't be hot. Oh, Jesus. All right, y'all. So, everybody's gonna talk about their goals for 2024. So, that? two goals that, <clears throat> that I what is your name? name? You gotta say your name. That's the best, Desi Pooh. I mean, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> Period. But, um, two goals I do want to work on is time management and procrastination. Beautiful. We love that. We love mm -hmm. that. Okay. Tink. Hi, my name is Tink. Um, one goal, well, my first main goal is to finish school. Oh, what are you in school for? 
Child, that's a long story. I don't okay. know what I'm going to major in. I got to do a okay. lot of soul searching. All right, girl. <laughs> and then my second goal is Why to... Why she come out here like worry, that? that she got the big ass lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. They it's hanging, though. Jay you know my mother... No, you ain't fucking... Hey. hey. I'm out here with the wig on. The bitch with the fly. <laughs> she had to have that crop it. top to show the Gucci belt. Hey, chill out, fool. All right, love. Chill out. Go ahead, Tink. School and what else? How do you even recover from that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lip hanging. Okay. <laughs> the lip was hanging, hanging. I was like, damn. But, do uh, you, people never read the, the sign that I leave up there. My first goal is to finish school. And my second goal is to be more time consumed with my family. I can see me one that said you are. Oh, I like that. Family orientation. Family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm prioritizing that. might be my too. goal next year. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I love a voice like message. Family so. a lot on the back burner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they the one yeah. that's going to stay solid. And I realized that a voice oh, message don't take no time. I love a voice message. Like, right. hey, just want to check on you. You know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 woo. Okay, cool. You said your what voice. Brandon, what's up? What's up with it? Check my homeless people who bag. What the fuck that is? Pulling that. Pulling what? You know who the fuck it is. Pulling what? Is that the baby daddy? Oh, oh that is. Someone baby. pulled up. Is your window in it? Because we just looking. Oh, yeah, my window's in it. No, I mean, I think he can see. It ain't like 5%, but shit. Like, <laughs> I mean, shoot. Um, yep, Brandon. Me. I want to see what's up. Ooh. What's that? We got an unboxing right now. Ooh. I don't know what's in here. So why he give it to you? Done with y'all goals. Okay, we're gonna unbox it. Because I made him a lot of money the other day. So how do you do that? I can make money too. He put me on game. He put me on game with some stuff a lot. Put me on the street. If I stay on the corner, I'll make a lot of money. <laughs> Brandon, what's the goal? Okay, my goal. <laughs> My name is Brandon. You are too close Brandisha, to my car. Brandisha, Brandisha, Okay. Anything that you can add on there that's... Bitch, you fucking tell them go. Okay. Big B. My goal <laughs> is to get up out the club. Oh, yeah. And to take my career serious. I love that. Um, I'm currently going back to school. For IT, y'all. He a tech yes. guy. Don't play with him. So, God, I believe in God. That's, that's, that's another part of my goal. It's to let God keep doing his work and oh, doing no, his right. big one because I said for the longest, like, I haven't talked to God and I haven't been praising him for everything that he's been, like, mm -hmm. blessing me with. Mm -hmm. But this is why I say don't go to church because ch churches are cults. Mm -hmm. Um, Stay God, at home and get your knowledge. right, That's right. What I do. God, God is with inside you, and we all have our own personal gods dedicated and reciprocated yes. to us so you're killing me y'all you're killing me <laughs> <laughs> so don't believe in churches because God will talk to you individually because God doesn't have like a whole man's got it path it's just like your own individual path where he's gonna guide you I disagree with that though why because I feel like not all churches are cults I feel like Okay. When two, one or two, that's what the Bible say. When one or two are gathered together, I think it's fellowship, and you have to realize the right church for you. Yeah. Just like right. you will, you will get a therapist. You have okay. to really seek right. out the right church for you. Yeah. And the right yeah. church will determine, like, like us. We could be yeah. our own church because the church is inside of us. So if you feel like we're the right people to fellowship with, then we can be your church. But now some churches are cults. The yeah. only reason I'm not big on religion. I am a person that I am a Christian because that's how I was raised, but I'm not Me big too. on religions. The yeah. the, the, the certain things. Group. No, I believe in a relationship with God, be a personal relationship with God. Not all of it's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe in. But I also feel like when I do go to church, my church, <laughs> when I go to my church, I feel free and be able to it feels good to be able to be on one accord with another person and be like mm -hmm. dang like we on one accord mm -hmm. now if you don't feel that way then that's not the right church for you yeah. so you have to really seek that out but i do agree that there are some churches that are cults so you just haven't found the right one well the only reason why i feel like churches are cults is because like everybody congregates together within each other and they all believe in the same shit like i feel like our each god is in us individually so he is guiding us on our own path mm -hmm. so when we be like oh and i i literally had to specifically had this conversation with my yeah yeah 
because <laughs> not the yeah, yeah. literally he, he he said something so fucking stupid and i was like you know our, my god and your god is not the same because mm -hmm. obviously the god that's guiding you can't do right by me so my god is guiding me to see the bullshit and to you know not fuck with you so that's just a little separate okay so, okay. We have one so, so that's one goal. that's your goal what's the other one um my other goal is to see it to being 25 and past because you know life is so short so great hey, man. like we never know when our day is going to be cut short or our life is going to be cut short yeah and also within that 25 life even if i was the pads i would i wouldn't want my funeral to be like so sad i would be yeah i want it to be a to celebration be, yeah like, like a celebration want to leave a legacy right right but i want it to be something that's enjoyable but not sad mm -hmm. because you know, even though physically somebody's not there, I feel like anytime somebody die, we always embody some some form of energy that that person had. So if it was confidence, you may not, you may have not been confident, but you feel that person confident, so it just give you the confidence. Like, yeah. if it's speaking up on something, you find yourself speaking up on something. And I say that because I lost my dog, and I feel like my dog is very loud spoken. So mm -hmm. it was Aww. like once he once he went away, it's kind of like I found that within myself, like mm -hmm. embodying like the. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we didn't have to add that. Part. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. No. <laughs> So, so, I like that. I really like that point like of view that. because I did have someone, um, my brother's wife, she did say that. She was like, I went to a funeral and it felt like a birthday party. Like, it right. was a celebration of that person. So, that's it's what you're supposed sad, to do celebrate their life, sad not that they died, mourn their death. You know? Yeah, it was more so of like, yo, we have so many great memories yeah, of this celebrate person that life. it's so hard to be sad that they died. Right. It was such a blessing to be in their life. Like, I love we that. We had such a great time. So, I hope that, you know, God forbid, no time soon that if I do pass away, yeah, like, yo, Destiny used to. Like, yeah, it's gonna like, be it's sad. Gonna it's, like, be, like, it's gonna be emotional because, you know, like, that person's yeah. not physically there anymore. But it's yeah. gonna be, like, celebrating, like, yeah. this person yeah. lived their life. You know, we spoke about our traumas, like, we laughed about so much. Yeah. But it's like, at the end of the day, even though this person's not here, I still feel them within me because they instill something into me. That's how I feel with DC wife. Like, um, I don't know y'all, Jackie O. Yeah. She well, was just such a unicorn. She was just such a unicorn. Everyone says that. A unicorn. But um, yeah, like she was just so like full of life and so you know, it was just bad. But anyway, I'm gonna say my goals and if she gonna unbox her gift and then we out of here, okay? Oh, no, Period. Um <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna see what's in the it bag. Like you already looked in it? No, I don't know what it is. Okay, period. Okay. So my goals for 2024 is to be able to um, execute everything that I have in my head. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to actually execute it. I don't want my thoughts to just be thoughts. I want them to be executed. Stand on um, standing on business for show, for <laughs> show. So, um, and I want um, just consistency. I want to stick to everything I say and I want to be consistent with it. Um, consistency is one of the hardest things for a human in general. So that's my goal, consistency and execution, period. I like that for all of y'all. Yes. Let's see what's in the, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? We gotta get a zoom a little closer. I'm asking you bring Okay, hold on. I know, like, can we get a friendship gift? But it's all good. Okay. Oh, he's saying tell far. Okay, we gotta see the receipt. Like, oh no, I'm not gonna look at the receipt because then I'm gonna know what it is. Oh, so open after. Okay. okay. Well, we, we so we know it's a the, far. Um, the dust bag. I think it's something. You know it's a what? It's how far. Oh yeah, we seen the bag. Isn't that kind of heavy? That it got the so far. It's a so far. It's more than that. Okay. Oh okay. Still look. Yeah. How'd you make him the money? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I need him to make the money. So I need the moolah. Ooh, that's a cute color. It is. Ooh, that mine green on the nigga. I love a green. I mean, that shit is gonna pop. That's my favorite color. Ooh. And he yeah. pulled up and gave it to her, y'all. That's you the know, real key. He can't wait till he motherfucking got home. Yeah, he said, um, let me pull that up on her with it out, y'all. So she could flex on her friends with it. Yeah, that is cute. Ooh. Let's see what's inside the bag. Open up the bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
We can cut it out. Oh, no. If it need to be cut out. Oh no, that's okay. cute. That is so cute. That is cute. So what is it back? It's giving Ooh, so cute. not a custom jean jacket. I love that. Oh, bitch, it's Samiri. Ooh. Oh, yeah, nigga. Hold up. And it smell good. Oh my Hello? god! I Nothing. wouldn't leave him either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Flex. Is there okay over there? And it's real. Let's see the tag. Oh, no, Hold on, is. we gotta see the tag. So y'all know what type of time he on. This is a double minty <laughs> yeah. shopping bag. Okay. Oh, okay. and um, a tag. A mirror. It's giving like it's from the Ooh. spring collection. <laughs> spring collection. You know, you probably got one of a kind. I mean, it I is. Like one more dollar for tax.